says that he treats his wounds. Lord have mercy. And then he takes him to an end. Which makes him spend his money on folk who don't even like him. Man, y'all missing this. Sometimes God will test your faith to see how strong you are to see if you're willing to use your resources to bless folk who can't stand you. Do I have anybody in the building who can justify, Lord, I need to do better. Because at the end of the day, you gave me your better best. And when Jesus seen me, he didn't just treat me, but he transported me. And now I'm rocked in the cradle of his own. I have peace because I'm rocked in the cradle of his own. And at the end of the day, I have to say, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away, it was I. By faith. I receive my sight. And now, look at what the Samaritan did. They have no dealings with Jews. Jews don't like them. But this Jew had to get over his dislike because he was half dead. And when you're half dead, you will accept help from anybody. Are you in here? But it should not have to take a half dead situation for you to get it right with folk that you think have done you wrong. Text says that Samaritan seen him and he treated him. What did he treat, Pastor? He treated his wounds. Treated his wounds, fixed him up, yeah. bandaged him up, had him help. He had to have a little money. Yeah. It's in your Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Pull out some oil and some wine. Yeah. Come on, help me in here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Perhaps a month, year's wage. Regardless, it cost him something. Yeah. And he got beyond himself, yeah. beyond his feelings. And perhaps he looked at himself and said, if that were me, what would I want somebody to do? How would I want people to deal with me? Seeing me half dead on the side of the road. Would I want passerbys to just drive by and honk their horn? Or would I want somebody to love me enough, even if they don't know me, to pull over? And help me out. Because the reality of it is it's somebody's mother. Somebody's child. Somebody's sister. Somebody's brother. Somebody's daddy. Somebody's uncle. Somebody's cousin. Somebody's nephew. And if we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, that means we all have the same father. <laughs> so it's one thing that we all know we have in common. We all have the same dad. Text says that he treated him, and I'm out of here. Then he transported him to the end. Uh -huh. Spent some more money. Yeah. Are you in here? Uh -huh. Told Mr. Man, Mr. Man, look, I done ran out of money on him. This is what I want you to do. Yeah. Whatever he need. Look at your name and say whatever. Whatever, whatever he need. Yeah. About no expense. Uh -huh. Put him up in the suite, that's fine. And I'm sure guy across the counter saying, man, do you know who you're dealing with? This brother don't like you. 
But if you notice, the half dead never said a word. <laughs> Are you with here? Sometimes God has a way of silencing your naysayers. And it always seems impossible until it's done. They left him for dead. The priest bypassed him. The Levite bypassed him. Fresh out of church. And here comes the Samaritan. Say, come here. You know, I got something in my pocket. Let me fix you up. I see the bleeding. Boy, I sitting there lifeless. Half dead. At some point, he could say, you know what? I know you. I, you know, we don't get along. We really don't. Ain't no use of me even messing with you. As a matter of fact, when you come to, you just might. Come on. Huh? You might have something to say. Because at the end of the day, I need, you know what? You just might not be grateful. But I saw something greater than myself. I saw myself in you. What would our church be like if we start looking and seeing ourselves in other folk? Matter of fact, that's the reason why some folk don't get along. Don't have to be in church, be in your family or your job. Because it's something that you saw in them that looked like you. And versus you coming to a level or to an understanding where you say, God, listen, I'm sorry. Yeah. If this is the way I've been acting, I'm sorry. God, if this is the way I've been carrying on, I'm sorry. God, this, God, God, whatever it is that I've been doing that is not reflective of you, remove it from me. Because I really want to do better. I want to be a better Christian. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better wife. And it's in my heart. Want to be a better deacon. Want to be a better usher. Want to be a better musician. Want to be a better auxiliary member. Want to be a better servant leader. Lord, make me better. That's why I'm here. Because I'm sick. And I want to be made better. I'm done. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I really do need to do better. Come, brothers. God bless you.